Okay, this is the first look over on this fine FN handgun. Let's see what's inside the package. So it comes wrapped in this green plastic bag. So this is the FN High Power. So don't get it confused with the Browning High Power, which is the high is spelled H-I. Whereas this one, it's H-I-G-H. So there's a difference in the spelling there. So this is the FN High Power, which is a totally different gun from the original high power that you used to know. So we're not gonna get into the history of the Browning high power because it's been, uh, you know, discussed so many times. So we all know the history of it. If not, you can Google it. You can watch the other videos. We're just gonna take a look at this FN high power here. So the silhouette of this gun, it shares the silhouette of the original high power so meaning the shape of it so basically the silhouette you, as you can see the tapered the uh, front or the muzzle end over here is very high power or the brown high power as well as the long arm of the slide stop the safety and even the trigger shape so other than that that's where the similarities and so the difference on this one as you can see this is a more substantial handgun it's thicker than the original um, funny thing about the original is it is a thin gun but the um, original grips on it it can make it pretty thick on your hand but given the ergonomics of it it's really quite good on this one I think it's better for me anyway because one of the main difference is the beaver tail the beaver tail on the old one it's a little bit sharp on the edges and of course a little bit more narrow so when i'm grabbing it with a high grip this part of the beaver tail usually digs into the web of my hand because i really uh, tend to grab it with a high grip so this one so far i've noticed i've been jamming the web of my hand I'm not getting any, uh, you know, uh, the point where it's really uh, <laughs> uncomfortable for me is right here. It's quite comfortable in the hand. It's quite ergonomic as well, kind of like the high power, but when you're gripping it, it's not like the high power. It's more like gripping a, uh, I would compare it with a SIG P226. So it is a thicker gun, but a little bit thinner because, you know, the grips are thinner. Uh, these are polymer grips. It comes with two, so came with a black one. You can exchange it with uh, with these brown ones. I might in the future, but I'm gonna look into the G10s that FN uh, sells on their website. Uh, unfortunately, right now they're unavailable, so I'll just have to keep on checking. It came with a uh, with two round. Uh, I mean two mags, 17 round mags, so uh, just to let you know they're not uh, reverse combat compatible with the old high power so if you're gonna use these on the old high power they're not gonna work so uh, uh, speaking of that I got a high power mag here for my old high power which I sold uh, so I have a couple of those laying around as you can see, all right, the FN mag is taller and a little bit more narrow than the uh, old one. And even the top part, this one tapers down, tapers off. This has a more slight uh, taper to it. So of course the cap capacity is different. This is a what, 13 round capacity, whereas versus 17 round on the FN high power. So. Yeah, with different bags. It's not gonna. The old Browning high power mags, they're not gonna work on the old one. As you can see, you can't jam it all the way up there, and I wouldn't do that. So, let's just put in the original one. Okay, to clear it, just to make sure. 
that was a snap cap. So we just cleared it. And of course, the rules of proper safe uh, handling, never put your finger on the trigger, which we have been observing, right? And always point it towards a safe direction. So, just to make sure that I am not lying to you guys, this is a snap cap. So, hey. <laughs> right, so, um, the fit on it is quite, uh, it's quite good. There's a little bit of rattle to it, but I'm gonna clean it with ballastol in a little bit. The safety on it is very positive. It's easy to flick, flick on and flick off, unlike the old ones. The old ones have those uh, small uh, safeties that engage into the notch on the uh, slide. So these ones, I like it. They're more on the uh, like the Mark III high powers that have the extended safety safeties. Very positive, very uh, easy to engage and disengage. So make sure to to show it to you guys that it's clear, nothing in the chamber. Uh, one more, th another difference with the newer high powers. As you can see on the barrel, the old barrels have uh, those radial lugs in it. So the lockup is way different. This is more squarish compared to the old ones, which are more uh, round and with the radial lugs there to engage with the lockup and the slide. So as you can see, they put a notch here, kind of like some of the old high powers. Uh, function of it I don't know how uh, you can research on it but I like it. it doesn't bother me so on this example just to show you the trigger here it's not bad of a break the reset right there Actually, you can hear the reset there click. Whereas some of the old high powers I had, you can barely uh, hear it. It's not really audible. This one's more audible. I wouldn't say like really, really positive compared to uh, some of the newer guns, but hey, I like it. So let's try to trigger again. It's not bad of the trigger. Here's the reset. click and a little of, little bit of a take up there before the break again there so if you're looking into the browning high powers um, sad to say you will be disappointed because this is not a reissue of the old one so basically this is a totally different gun or it's a new gun it just shares some uh, design key elements from the old high power, but it's not a clone. It's not a reissue of the newer high uh, of the old high powers. If you're looking into an uh, original high power, there's a lot of them out in the secondary market. There's a plenty of them. Um, you can look into the clones, which is one of them is the SA35 and the uh, Gerson. MCP35. I mean, those are good clones. They're good reiterations of the high power. But I've had high powers before. I got, I had four of them. Unfortunately, I got rid of all of them. Um, uh, I'm very, very accurate with the uh, old high powers. But one thing that bothers me is the beaver tang here. Because every time I try to hold on to it with a high grip, some of them did give me a slide back bite here, or not slide bite, but the hammer bite. This one, it doesn't go far down enough to hit me in the web of the hand there. So that's a good thing. And the sharp point over here, it's really, really softened up. So even if I jam my the web of my finger there, it's not scratching or, you know, 
hitting me in that area badly, not like the old ones. I even thought about putting a Dremel to one of the old ones, but I wouldn't do that. But this is very smooth. So if you're looking into the FN High Power, I would really recommend it. But get it out of your head that this is not the high power of the old, you know, of the old days. So because you you will get disappointed if you're looking into that. You're better served getting a clone. But if you're looking for a totally totally different gun, this is a very, very nice gun. It's about 40 ounces in weight. So it's very comparable to a 1911, but the way it sits in the hand, so it's kind of like I would compare it to my Walter Q4 SF. So most of the weight is right here on the uh, frame, you know, end of the frame here on the grip. So the muzzle is not muzzle heavy. So shooting wise, I'll see how it goes at the range then maybe I can post a video about it. But for now, this is one of the first lo look of my FN high power. I like it. Okay, peace out.